Hey, what's up guys? It's Brent again. Hope you guys are having a good day. Here at work, wanted to show you guys a 2020 Jaguar E-Pace. Now this is the P250, but it is the checkered flag edition. What that means is, it comes with a bunch of standard options and everything, and I'll show you that. Uh, it's just an exclusive trim level that's on the E-Pace. 246 horsepower. It's got the nine speed auto in it. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. All right, so this one is Photon Red. It's got the gloss black wheels, which are an option, not standard on the vehicle. So we got the signature LEDs with the LED daytimes. This is an option right here. 360 surround camera is a extra option, not standard on the E-Pace checkered flag right here. If you look right here, our dynamic. So we got some fog lights right there, LED of course. Let's check, non-functional, unfortunately. Uh, this is functional right there, and then same with that one. And this one is non-functional as well. So there's the checkered flag trim right there. And once again, this is the photon red exterior color paint option. If you see right here, P250, so it's a turbocharged four-cylinder, all-wheel drive. Dual exhaust. Power tailgate is standard on the checkered flag edition. Decent trunk space, a little better than the Evoke width-wise. Here is the second row. We got a little 12 volt. And you get your cup holder here, and then like a small storage pocket right there. These seats are just a 60-40, so you can only open it this way. And same with the other side right there. So this has the, you can see right there, blind spot standard on this trim right here. Um, the upgrade is the Meridian 380 watt sound system. The standard like 250 watt, it's, no, no offense, but it's really bad. You got the E-Pace tread plate right there. This one's got the all weather floor mats as an option. Perforated grain leather seats, standard on the E-Pace checkered flag, and they're heated as well. Uh, this one has the cold climate package, which is an option. So heated steering wheel, heated windshield, and heated washer jets, which are on the outside. Every time you uh, use this the windshield wiper here, the third pass, it'll clean the headlights, which you can't really see. Now this one has the virtual display right here. Standard on the checkered flag, which is pretty nice here. And we're on 2020, so we still have in control touch pro. So we'll see what the, the new model E-Pace looks like, but honestly this one works pretty well. It's pretty straightforward. And then we got some physical buttons here for climate access all your heated seats, air control, physical dials right here, and then buttons for seat, so dual stage, fan control. Uh, no wireless charging, it's not an option on the E-Pace, but another 12 volt charging, and then your different terrain modes with your auto stop start. Pistol shifter. We got two USBs, a 12 volt, and your data card in there, and then additional storage in here, and then this cup holder does come out too. This one has the fixed panoramic roof option. Standard on the checkered flag. And then we got the auto dimming mirror with the Home link controls right there if you wanted to control your garage door opener and everything. So there you have it, just a little short little walk around of the 2020 E-Pace Checkered Flag Edition. 
The E paces usually start out at about like 37 if you really don't spec out anything, but you get like cloth seats, manual seats, no roof. This one comes in at about 51, but it gives you pretty much most options that people are going to look for, like blind spot, heated seats, heated steering wheel, 360 camera, navigation, all that kind of stuff in there. I'm going to show you guys something else really quick. Of course, this has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. I haven't had, I have uh, the same Touch Pro Duo, Touch Pro system and it works fine. This one's still, you know, pretty responsive. So no, no complaints here. I think it's still a good platform. And this is a lot of value for the money. Very nice, a little more sportier inside. So you got the ebony seats with the red stitching there. Of course you have that along the seats as well. Got a glove box in there. Of course this has the, so the Jag warranty is a five year 60,000 mile warranty. It includes your scheduled maintenance for the duration of the warranty as long as you bring it in. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that video of our kind of our entry level Jag brand. This is our compact SUV. So if you're, you know, driving around the city, compact parking spots, or if you just like driving a, a compact vehicle that's easy to park, easy to drive, you have to worry about the dimensions of the vehicle too much. This is an excellent option. So a lot of our customers down in here, downtown Seattle, a lot of you know that inter like city driving and everything parking lots are small the spaces the roads all that kind of stuff this is a perfect option for maneuvering around the city for your commute or whatever you're trying to do so i would definitely con look at an e-pace if you're looking for a compact but still fun and smooth comfortable drive and everything it's a great vehicle all around and anyways if you guys have any questions though don't forget to drop a comment down below please like this button hit that subscribe button 536 subs right now and growing so thank you guys for all the support i want to see a thousand shortly and then go from there sky's the limit right and i will see you guys in the next video take care